One big question is when will COVID-19 vaccines become available for children under 12? KTVU's Jana Katsuyama joins us now live. And Jana, you spoke with a pediatrician who's leading the Pfizer pediatric vaccine trial at Stanford and a family who shares what it's been like to participate. Julie, yes, we did a report last May when the trial started and we wanted to check back on the progress. So today I spoke with one family about what it's been like. They're only in elementary school, but six-year-old Sofia Chavez and her nine-year-old brother Nico are already making history. I'm proud of myself for doing it because I was really nervous with shots. You're going to be a part of saving the world. Since June, the children have been part of Pfizer's pediatric COVID-19 vaccine trial at Stanford for children under 12. I think it's pretty cool to be the first kids under 12 to get the vaccine. Thousands of children have been enrolled to test the safety of the mRNA vaccine. Renee and Miguel Chavez say researchers made sure the kids weren't being forced to get the shots. They made sure that they were okay with it and throughout the whole process they would ask them as well if, mm -hmm. if they were comfortable, if they wanted to continue. They had to sign an assent form. Mm -hmm. The kids did. Mm -hmm. That said they wanted to participate. The first shot was in June and Renee and Miguel said they watched the children for any symptoms. The night after both injections, do you feel anything yet? How about now? You know, we're going to take your temperature again because, you know, we wanted nothing more than for them to show us that their immune system, you know, was was kicking in. Nico says he felt fatigue and chills, but was fine after a few days. Renee is a pediatric ICU nurse and says seeing COVID cases at work was a factor in wanting her children to get the vaccine. And the alternative is the possibility of COVID, which is more unknown. We don't know what the long term effects are, you know, are in kids. As children head back to school, many parents are wondering when their children might be able to get a shot. The clinical trials should be finished by September. We talked with Dr. Yvonne Maldonado, Stanford professor of infectious diseases, who's leading the pediatric clinical trials at Stanford. The company should be able to uh, provide the data to FDA by October. Dr. Maldonado says the data will reveal information on safety and dosage. We're going to be tracking short and long-term safety. We're going to be tracking immune responses, whether children need boosters. We fill out our Renee says as part of the study, they received cell phones to send weekly reports about the children's health and received an at-home COVID test in case the children show any symptoms. The safety monitoring is going to continue for two years. Dr. Maldonado says that if everything goes smoothly, the FDA could approve with an EUA, emergency use authorization, the COVID vaccine for the 5 to 11 cohort, possibly by the end of the year. Reporting live, Jana Katsuyama, KTVU, Fox 2 News.